Hey everyone, my name is Judge. Tomorrow we have the Sunken City mini set being released, which means 35 new cards, and also a brand new arena meta with different sets rotating in. It's gonna be a lot of fun, looking forward to it. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at 12 brand new cards, taking a look at uh, how good they are, what they're gonna mean for arena, and those 12 cards are gonna be from the classes of Shaman, Druid, Rogue and Paladin. So let's dive into it. Starting with Shaman, our first card is Tide Lost Burrower, a four mana, four, four Murloc. Uh, Shaman getting an interesting Murloc package in this, in this mini set. Uh, we got a four mana, four, four Battle Cry Dredge. If it's a Murloc, summon a two, two copy. So this card, <laughs> it's pretty easy to, I mean, pro uh, analysis coming in. Uh, on this one. If you hit a Murloc, this is good. If you don't hit a Murloc, this is not as good. Uh, so, you know, how many Murlocs are going to be offered? It's tough to say. Maybe a, a few more, what with this mini set coming out, than, than before. So maybe it's possible you're actually hitting 4 minus 6 6s with this. Uh, I think that it's probably not consistent enough to really make work a lot. So I think what you need to ask yourself is a 4 minus 4 4 Battle Cry Dredge good enough? without an extra 2-2. And I think the answer to that is not quite. Dredge is a powerful mechanic. Maybe you'll pick this up as a dredge piece if you're missing other dredges and you have some powerful uh, sun sunken cards or you have a Phalen or something, but I don't really see this quite being that great. Not It's not consistent enough to get Murlocs. There are much better options for dredge. That being said, you know, if, you, if you're it's pick number 23 and you've got seven or eight Murlocs somehow and you're like, wow, this is the Murloc dream, then fantastic. This card's going to be amazing. Uh, I think I think overall, though, it's not going to be uh, something that's that's crazy. It's going to be a dream. Sometimes you'll make it. Most of the time you won't. This is what I think. I'd love to be wrong about it, though. It's a very, very uh, nice looking card. Uh, next up, we have a, a, a very strong Murloc as well, if you have other Murlocs, and that is Clownfish. A 3-mana three 3-2 three, common. Battle cry your next two Murlocs cost two less. Now, notice it doesn't say your next two Murlocs this turn. So, you could draw your Amalgam way later on. It's zero mana. That's super, super good. The problem with that is it's a 3-mana three 3-2, three, which is super unplayable in the arena nowadays. So, uh, you know, unless you have some some other fish to, to use in your comeback mechanic, yeah, some schoolings or whatever, it's going to be tough to to play this. Again, super strong effect. If you do have other Murlocs in your hand, this is insane. Uh, it can go down to zero. It doesn't say capped at one. So if you have a, a lot of Murlocs in your list, this is going to be nuts. I think this fits in the exact same category as Tide Lost Burrower, where, you know, these cards are definitely meant for constructed, where there's a synergy to be had. In Arena, the synergy isn't consistent. These cards are not going to be generally good, but... In the right list, they're going to be uh, going to be insane. Really, really strong card in general, but maybe not so much in the arena. And lastly, for Shaman, uh, we can <laughs> say goodbye to cards that maybe will be good, maybe will be not. Need need synergy. This card is absolutely insane. It's a five mana. Summon two five four elementals with rush. Overload one. A nature spell. Command of Neptune. This card is nuts. This card is like perplexingly strong like this card is this card is insane it's a five minute 10 8 rush split bodies that's insane that's absolutely that's i don't even know what to say about this yes pick this card every time you see it pretty much pick this card it's so overstated it reminds me of corrupted elephant uh it reminds me of the druid card that uh you can either buff it to be a five five rush or it can be two three threes with rush Except it gets to be both. It's like a choose one, but with both effects. For just because, right? So just this is just a completely, completely insane card. So many stats. Huge. Uh, the Overload one is kind of whatever. It's a, you know, plan around it curve-wise, sure. But this card will just take uh, games you've, you're, you're just losing tempo-wise. And it'll just be like, okay, I'm winning now. I'm just, yeah, here, I win. Uh, the the mid-game tempo game. Insane card. You're going to be picking this card pretty much every chance you see it. Absolutely, absolutely bonkers. So Shaman gets some Murloc action and some Busted action. 
Uh, next up we have Druid, our first Druid card. It's a 3 mana 3-3 three, three Naga, Herald of Nature. Battle cry, if you've cast a nature spell while holding this, give your other minions plus one, plus two. So, uh, you know, nature spells, how common are those? I'd say they're common enough in Druid. You're usually picking up a couple nature spells. This is not a card you're really going to be able to consistently play on turn three, because you're going to be playing a two drop, not a nature spell most of the time. Maybe you play a Wrath coming into this, and, and then you have nothing to buff, so it's, it's probably not a, a turn three card. Could it be a turn six or seven card? Yeah. You play it in a, in a token druid, and, and that's a, it's a strong effect. All you need to do is hit one minion, and it's a three mana four or five in theory, right? You hit one minion with this in arena, it's good. So I think the card will be strong. It doesn't look like the effect, plus one, plus two, it's not absolutely insane, but, it, you know, you can hit... If you hit more than one minion, make a couple value trades, that's, a, that's pretty huge. Something like Nature Studies coming back into the meta, maybe... Uh, with with this coming in on turn six or seven is going to be very strong. So uh, I do like the stat line on it because it is not good to just play on its own, and it does have this strong effect. As a token druid player myself, who plays a lot of really light druids, I think that this is going to be uh, a piece I, I'm excited to to add to my list. But it's going to be a, a one that you know it's going to be you're you're going to need to make sure you have other stats to go in before it because if you're holding on to this, it's going to be a dead card for a little bit. But uh, I like it. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Druid also gets a one-mana spell called Moonbeam, a common arcane spell that is deal one damage to an enemy twice. This is going to be uh, extremely underwhelming in Arena. Uh, clearly meant for, for uh, constructed spell damage combos. You know, you see this, you immediately think of Malagos. Uh, the bigger the spell damage, the better for this. But in Arena, spell damage isn't super common. And, uh, I mean, if you get, like, an Azure Drake or something, and then you play this, that's that's strong, but that's a, a very inconsistent combo. Uh, if you have a bunch of spell damage, how? what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. We're you're not really getting a lot of spell damage in Arena. I don't think this is going to be very good. One mana needs to be dealing three damage nowadays to be able to really compete. It's not a terrible card. One mana deal two, like old Holy Smite or, or whatever, it's okay. Uh, it can pop Divine Shields, deal some damage. Something like that. It's it's not horrible, but I don't I don't think it's great. A little underwhelming. And lastly, for Druid, we get Spirit of the Tides. Two mana, two two. If you have any unspent mana at the end of your turn, gain plus one plus two. It's an elemental, and it looks extremely good. Um, this card this card is so it, to me. This never comes down on two. This card comes down on turn three, and it's a three mana three four, which has always been just a completely fine stat line for Arena. Still is. It's been for years. Uh, and, and that's good. 3-minute, uh, 3-4, three three, sure. Uh, and then the upside is you can not curve out perfectly and still curve out perfectly. So it's not a, necessarily about the stats on this minion. It's about the flexibility of your curve out. Like, being able to, on turn 4, play your other 3-drop and not because you didn't draw any of your fours, or maybe your deck is is uh, in that your draft you never got offered that many fours, so you're struggling to find that turn four. You play a three drop, and you've actually filled in curve, which is insane. So I don't know. I don't know how it's it's any snowball card is worth consideration as a completely busted card, but I think for me it's less about the stats and more about the curve flexibility that is going to make this card really, really, really strong. The plus two health especially. Like, you play this on three, and then you come into a three and a four, and that's uh, that's uh, making some value trades. Card looks extremely, extremely good. All right, moving on to Rogue. We've got our first card, a one-mana, one-three elemental. Tons of elementals in this uh, in this mini set. Shatter Shambler. Shatter Shambler. Battle Cry, your next Death Rattle minion costs one less, but immediately dies when played. So, uh, really interesting uh, things you can do in Constructed, I'm sure, but in Arena, this is going to be, this is going to be, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Yeah, in Arena, you don't want your minions to die, right? You want them to live and to do things. Uh, not very many Death Rattles do you want to become dead when you play them. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is the 4-mana 1-1 one, one Death Rattle Summon a 5-5. Five, five. I don't even know. I don't even know what that card is called. I'm sure you know. It's popping up on the screen now. What that? What's that card called? That's what it's called, I guess. Thanks, Frank. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that's that's great. This into that on turn three, a three minute five five King Mukla with no downside. That's amazing. Uh, other than that, I'm sure you guys maybe in the comments can think of uh, some some uh, other death rattles that'll be good. But this is going to be extremely fringe. And if you have other death rattles that aren't, you know, your 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 good hits, which are very very few, you're just not going to be able to play them. Right? They're just going to be unplayable and garbage. So I, I feel like this card is going to be just way too big of a risk. Especially, you take you can't take it early on because you, you, you can't just be turning down good death rattles. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to really work for Arena. You know, another card that's going to be mostly bad and then, like, sometimes insane, but very, very rarely. Next we have two mana spell, a jackpot. Add two random spells from other classes that cost five or more to your hand. Uh, this card looks like, in Arena, a very, very good value tool. Very, very good. We see uh, Thought Steel being a completely premium in, in Arena, guaranteeing not only that you get a little bit of value, but you get a lot of mana worth of value, which in Arena can be huge. Um, you're not looking to play this card early, of course. Uh, you're not going to be able to even play the spells for a while. But uh, you play this on, like, turn 8 after you've, you've done curving out really, really well. You've developed a ton of stats. Maybe your opponent is keeping up with you and you're both looking for more steam. And this gives you a lot more steam. Now, uh, in Constructed, often spells that cost 5 or more are just too slow to ever play. But in Arena, that's not the case. In Arena, these spells can be extremely impactful and can do a whole lot. Um, you could argue with this card that it's not really... Uh, going for what a tempo rogue wants to do, but it's a really really fun tool for uh, a value rogue or like a tempo value hybrid rogue and can really carry a lot. I think this is going to be a very good card for rogue and I'm very excited to draft it. And uh, lastly, we won't waste uh, too much time on this card for rogue because it has already been banned. So uh, <laughs> Inkvale Ambusher, 2 mana 1, 2 stealth, has plus 3 attack and immune while attacking. This card has already confirmed been banned from Arena before it even saw any play whatsoever. Um, I believe Zeddy uh, tweeted uh, something about having an issue. You know, I hope this card, you know, is looked at. And uh, Matt London, I believe, responded. I, I believe I'm correct on that. Matt London responded saying, you know, it's, it's already been taken care of. So this card is not going to be in Arena. Uh, we learned our lesson from Ramming Mount. It's, you know, uh, cheap immune effects are just not fun in Arena, and they're too strong in Arena, even if it can be handled. It's just like, you know, it's just immune, cheap immune is just not great. So I, I'm a fan of this card. There's no need for this card to exist in Arena, in my opinion. All right, and last class, we have Paladin Honor. We, first uh, Paladin card, we got 3 mana 3 for Myrmidon. After you cast a spell on this minion, draw a card. So 3-mana uh, three 3-4 three, with an upside has always been very good. 3-mana uh, three 3-4 three, Naga coming down uh, on its own is completely fine. So the small upside of drawing a card after you cast a spell on this, sure. If you're lucky, you get to you get to draw a card and then it's insane. Uh, I don't think you're you're really counting on this effect too often. Uh, you know, there's you're not able to get as many spells as you'd maybe like in a lot of your Paladin decks and maybe there's going to be some better targets that make sense for value trades. But hey, maybe you hit a cheap spell on this and you draw one card and that's super, super good. Worst case, it's a 3 mana 3 4. I think this is a, a strong card. 3 mana 3 4 with an upside. We've seen many of them before. We have Light Ray. 9 mana 5 5 Taunt. Costs 1 less for each Paladin card you've played this game. I... Oof. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. So you play five Paladin cards, and this is decent in Arena. Is that likely to happen by turn nine or turn ten? I don't know. It's very deck dependent. I would say that uh, you know there's a lot of good neutrals to curve out with, and uh, maybe those are a little more common than class cards in the Arena. I'd say that uh, likely. Say you draft ten class cards. Halfway, you played five of them by turn. 12 maybe if you're lucky and then this is probably a four mana five five taunt that isn't even that impactful in the late game i don't really see this working out consistently for arena now uh, if you can get a lot of discovery or cards that add other paladin cards to your hand say you get a holy mackie roll maybe that can be used to help discount this uh, a little bit of synergy can go a long way with this card i don't think this card is going to be very good consistently fringe play with cards like Holy Mackie Roll. Uh, sure, there's a few I'm not thinking of, but uh, I'd say for the most part, 
to uh, inconsistent. And lastly, we have a, a very, very uh, fun effect. Paladin Epic Spell, nine mana front lines. Summon a minion from each player's deck. Repeat until either side of the battlefield is full. Um, <laughs> this card, there's no way this works, right? <laughs> there's no way this works because you summon all your minions, then you end your turn and then your opponent kills you, <laughs> which is bad. Uh, or say you're going for like, I'm gonna draft nothing but huge minions and then I'm gonna play front lines and they're gonna have taunt and it's gonna be huge. That's all fine and dandy, but then you haven't curved out probably in arena. So this card, this card looks looks terrible, right? This card looks horrible. I'm sure that there will be players who try to make it work for fun, but this card looks for arena. It looks just terrible. You, there's no guarantee your minions are going to be heftier than the opponents, and then they, they get initiative. There's this card is just it's a nine mana waste of time for arena, but man, is the effect fun, right? <laughs> That's huge. That's huge. Definitely a card geared for constructed. Uh, it's going to be it's it's going to be trash, but I'll probably still take it once and try to cheese my way to some uh, some big minions. Maybe grab some cheap spells, uh, <laughs> do my best, but the card is, the card is, is quite terrible. Alright, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about these cards. If you think I made any, any, uh, egregious errors of judgment, let me know in the comments, and uh, be sure to check out my other videos on the neutrals and other class cards, and tell me what you think there, too. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. My name is Jeff. Whose name is Judge? My name is. Whose name is Judge? My name is. That's a silly name. Judge. Okay, that's enough.